This is Sony's wireless earbuds in a neck bank style that features a high resolution audio. In the packaging, it includes a 3.5 mm to a micro USB cable for old school analog. It also features a micro USB charging cable and a total of four ear tip sizes. This design is not made for sports but more for calm or relaxing position for long duration and it does not feel disturbing or heavy. All the controls are located at the left side along with the charging port. Starting with the most inner one is the power control, volume rockers and a multi-function button for your calls and media playback. Each button has their own tactile bump so it's easy to identify all of them. Lastly, the sound isolation is great thanks to the longer sound tube that is measuring up to 0.7 cm. It's powered by a pair of 9nm nonlinear dynamic drivers. It also uses Bluetooth 4.1 and it has an NFC built-in as well. The maximum stable line of sight is 11 meters. The rated battery life is 8 hours. However, based on our battery life test on the iPhone 6 at the third volume bar, we only managed to get 6 hours and 10 minutes. Moving on to audio quality, pop and EDM. For this, you'll be using Tianbi OK. Low bass frequency is superbly energetic and highly notable. You can feel the air pressure booming into your ears even at lower volumes. It doesn't eat into the vocals and it has zero bass distortion. The softer bass vibration fades smoothly. Low bass frequency is well bodied. The low bass slightly overpowers the vocals in terms of audible levels. Going on to Pia Mia Do It Again. Bass is highly energetic and solid. You can feel the air pressure. The bass fade butter smooth with a long drag, especially at the 2 minute and 5 second mark. The vibration is just orgasm. Bass slightly overpowers vocals. Clear separation between the two. Bass is well bodied and EDM tone sounds fun. Now, moving on to vocals and instrumentals. For this, you'll be using violin the raindrops. The piano and violin tone sounds right and natural. Leans closer to the crystal clear type and not the warm sounding type. A little more shine at the highs will be nice. Tones are well bodied and doesn't sound half-hearted. The bass and drums does overpower the piano and violin in terms of audible levels. There's a clear separation between the two. Next is Pentatonic See True. Mitch grassy high-pitched male tenor vocals perform very well at the highs with the right amount of shine. A little more shine would be nice. Each singer can be identified easily. Every diction, pronunciation is crystal clear. Vocals beatboxing, echoing and humming is eargasm which just slightly overpower Mitch Grassi's vocal in the song. Basically, this is the Sony IR H500 IEMs that we have reviewed in the past. Except this time, it comes in a wireless neckband form with a built-in amplifier with a deck that boosts audio quality significantly. This IAM performs well from the low frequency to the high frequency. However, the bass is a bit too strong and almost overshadows other frequencies. The IER H500 it lacks in good bass but it's much more sharp sounding from the mids onwards. If you are interested to purchase these, there will be a link in the description below together with our other Sony reviews. Like and subscribe to our channel. Again, leave a comment, tell us where you're from, tell us what should we review in the next video and I'll see you guys then.